This is the most overpowered defense in Madden 24. It shuts down the run. It's lights out against the pass. And gets instant sacks all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using get results like this, Got stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The play that I'll be using in today's video are once again found in my New Orleans Saints offense and multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can always download these or any of my ebooks instantly by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, I'm once again be adding a new play and a new setup to my 3-4 odd defense, which is the only defense that I've been using all year in Madden 24. The setup for this defense starts in the coaching adjustments as this scheme works best if you have these set properly. But I'm only going to show you the ones that specifically affect this defense. So if you guys want to know more about coaching adjustments, I recently made a video on this topic and I will have have links in the description as well as on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that first i set my curl flats to 15 and my flats to 5 because i find that these are the best depths for most routes and it gives me the coverage options to choose who i want the defense to focus on first i also set my cornerback matchups to buy overall for man defense and my ball in the air defense to play ball to try to get more interceptions but i find play receiver is also good if you want more knockouts the last one is the most important and that is to set your auto alignment to base this setting will make it so that your defense comes out in the same cup for shell every single time regardless of what coverage you call this is important Important because this is a pressure heavy defense that I use from a lot of different coverages that I don't want my opponent to be able to read before the play starts. You're going to want speed in the right places to maximize this defense, so put your fastest players at outside linebacker first and then defensive end second, as they also can get in unblocked through the B gap a lot of the time. The middle linebackers can also get in unblocked sometimes, so it's best to have your fastest player everywhere across the board. As far as my audible plays go, you can really do the setup I'm going to show you from almost any one of the defenses in this formation, but I'm going to give you guys the ones that I think perform the best, starting with the all-star this formation the pinch buck zero as this is usually the defense that i start with but this defense might be getting passed soon as my favorite defense might be the new defense i'm going to show you guys today in my cover three let me know in the comment section which zone coverages you like best this year and maybe i will try this defense out with that coverage next the last two plays that i use in this scheme are mostly for run defense in the cover four drop and the cover four quarters as the safeties play the run like a nine-man run commit making this best for run heavy players i start this game off the way i normally do by setting the tone with the pinch buck zero here. i don't want to call the same play too many times times in a row because even though my opponent can't read the defense pre-snap they can still guess if i run man zero blitz over and over again and they will probably guess right eventually so on the next play i pick the cover three seam all i'm going to do for this base setup is pinch the entire defense which is rb r1 and down the left stick doing this will close up all the run lanes inside and will also get the edge blitzers closer and put them at a better rush angle the next step is to blitz all linebackers which is d pad to the left and down this defense allows me to blitz all linebackers without giving up my coverage assignments underneath as i still have one curl flat here that will always help me out as I will always use them on the opposite side of my user. This will allow me to cover the receivers on the other side of the field. Not that I need to cover for very long though. Now on third and 18, I usually choose cover four, but it's more like a prevent defense for situations like this. But I also find it's the worst when it comes to getting pressure as the outside blitzers are preset to QB contains, making them much slower. So I call the pinch bug zero again, which was much riskier, and he lobs it up and comes down with a catch in tight coverage. Wilson. I call cover four in the next play, and you can see that the default QB contain that I am talking about here, as this really slows down this version of the blitz. But on this play, I quickly try to put someone in the flats to cover that area. I go back to the pinch bug zero on the next play to slow down the bleeding but the offensive formation won't allow me to run this coverage the way that i want to since all the receivers are on one side of the field leaving too much space between them and my defenders this will force me to either man align which will expose my man zero blitz or i have to change coverages entirely so on the next play i go back to cover three as at least that gives me enough defenders on this side of the field to cover them all and it actually makes it easier for me since there's less receivers on the other side of the field for my user to cover he runs the inside zone on the next play anyway <laughs> to lose yards before hurrying me up and switching out of the formation entirely before the pressure forces a bad throw. Where you going? He goes for it on 4th and 13 because, you know, it's Madden. And since I saw that his last play was the 4 verticals, which is a play that is known for getting open of the cover 3 seam, I decided to switch to a defense that I thought would align better in the Saul Blitz 1. But everyone is still really out of position, so I give up the disguise and man align before the play, exposing my coverage a little bit, but still kind of looking like a cover 3, allowing him to still run the exact same play before he realizes that it's not a cover 3, and now no one is open. Yeah. 
running? On offense, we are still running with my gun stack Y flex scheme as I'm really trying to get more plays out from this formation for you guys to use in future videos before I move on to other formations. I'm mostly going to be focusing on defense though, so if you guys want to see more from this formation, I'll once again have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. I see cover zero in the first play, so I take the wheel route to start the drive and almost score. Oh, you almost had it. Before he switches the cover too, giving me big lanes inside to run for the first down. From here, I see that he is now using the linebacker in the gap. So I put the Y route on a slant to try to clear him if he doesn't chase the running back to get the middle of the field wide open for the square in. Back on defense, he is still trying to run trips, but I want to run cover three. So I'm going to use another new setup to shut down this verticals play, as all I have to do is man the curl flat to the slot receiver that he's trying to get open up the cover three seam. Gotcha, bitch! Back on offense, he is starting to get desperate already as he's switching to man zero blitz. But since he doesn't have his coaching adjustments set to base, I have plenty of time to just read the defense and pre-diagnose where I'm going to go with the ball. Break yourself, fool! My second game has the craziest start that I have ever seen. In my last gameplay, I showed you guys how people are really starting to squib kick like it's the new fullback kick, so I decided to try it out myself, and it didn't work at all, as my opponent picks it up and easily strolls through the kickoff coverage for the score. He decides to be a dick and go for two, but he hasn't seen my defense yet. He then squib kicks to me on the next kickoff as well, but it makes it to my speedster Devin Allen. And now we are taking it to the house for back-to-back -back kick returns. Fuck you! Only I'm not an idiot, so I'm going to take the free points. I decide I'm not doing that squib kick anymore, as it clearly doesn't work. So I kick it normally, and he returns it for a touchdown again anyway. Maybe kickoff coverage just sucks in this game and there's no real way to cover these consistently. Trash! And now the pressure is really on me to keep this kick return circus going. <laughs> on offense, I'm kind of pissed off about how the game started, so I go right to my hurry up and start pressing the ball down the field. He gets me into a third and two before Jalen makes a Mahomes-esque no-look pass <laughs> that gets me inside the five before I run into that wheel route one more time to punch it in for like the millionth time this year. On defense, I start off in man zero once again, but this is really the worst run defense in this formation, as you can get outside of it or run right through the middle of it a lot of times. If you play in a league with a cooldown rule, that's one of the best things about this setup, is there's three cover threes in this formation, and you can really do the same setup with all of them, including the Will Buck three press. This one is probably the slowest blitz out of all of them, but it's very effective against the run, unless your opponent runs to the opposite side of the blitzing linebacker, as my opponent gets a big run the next play, before hurrying me up to run it again, as this is usually good run defense to both sides. Since all he's doing is running now, I hard flat the outside linebackers and he almost gets a big run before I get a ridiculous tackle animation. What the fuck is that? And of course he's gonna go for it because he's an idiot. What are you fucking retarded or something? That ain't fucking right. And now I'm mixing up a lot of cover three beaters underneath since that's all he's running and he doesn't have his coaching adjustments set. Before I hit that in route over the middle to get inside the red zone and then score at the running back in the flats one more time. Now up 10, we just have to get past this kickoff and we should be good. No! As all my opponent is doing is running, even when he tries to throw the ball, as we get him to a third and forever. Bring that ass here, boy. From here, we are sending the dogs as he gets it out quick to get into a fourth and a little less than forever. And now he must have Kirk Cousins as a play caller. You like that? Because I don't know what the fuck he was expecting there. So if that's it, that's the video. Give this new defense a try and let me know what you guys think. Or let me know in the comment section what's your favorite coverage is. Maybe I'll give it a try next. Other than that, if you guys want to see more about the offense or coaching adjustments that I was using in this video, just click the links on the screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.